What's up, fight fans? Man, it feels good to be back. I've been off the grind for a while. I had some projects going on. And now I'm back in the grind. And I'm back to building my channel. So I'd appreciate all the support I can get. I appreciate it. First, I want to get to... Raleigh Romero and Jackson Marinez on Saturday night. I'm seeing a lot of tweets on a lot of people's IGs, Twitter, YouTube that Raleigh Romero won this fight. But 70% of the tweets that I saw, people are being real biased. If you're a true boxing fan, and you sit there and watch that fight, I watched that fight three times. I watched that fight. And I gotta tell you, Raleigh Romero got schooled in every aspect. And it's okay to get beat. Because he's a young fighter. It's experience that is going to make him win these tough fights. So I don't put no young fighter down because these are the fights where you get a lot of experience. After the fight was over, Rally Romero sat up there and said, Marinez ran all night. He really didn't hit me. That kid, Jackson Marinez, He's a damn good fighter. And he deserves a second shot. That kid clearly won the fight. And I believe the judge that had it, 118 to 110, completely robbed the kid of a dream. That could do a lot to a fighter. And for them to take away what that kid did that night, fought his ass off, he jabbed all night, he was first most of the night, he figured Raleigh out, he boxed him, he showed ring generalship, he beat Romero in every aspect. And for some of these other fighters to come on and say, you got the best of them, congratulations. And I understand, we see, I've seen a few robberies in boxing. But it was a close fight. This fight wasn't close enough to not give this kid Jackson the win. It just wasn't. I can tell you this. Romero needs to implement a lot of boxing skills to his game. I get it, he jabbed a lot, but to the body, not so much to the head. And then he looked for the power punch. He was trying to counter Jackson. He wasn't fast enough. And like I said, I like Raleigh Romero. He has a lot of power, that kid. And if he can tweak his game with his team, 
the kid's gonna be a hell of a fighter. Cause he's tough. But someone needs to sign that kid. Jackson Marinez. And I'm telling you, and I'm saying it first. If somebody can take the reins of that kid, like TMT or Golden Boy, Oscar De La Hoya, or top rank, that kid will become a champion. Say what you will. But that kid has skills. Because he's long, he showed range, he counted Ramiro all night, he was quick. He stayed in the middle of the ring most of the night. And I just think the politics of boxing and everybody knows why they gave Romero the win. Let's face it. He's from here. And the judges are from Vegas. One of the judges were from Vegas, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And New York also. But they completely took this kid's 19 and 0 record away from him and gave him a loss. And I think it's so unfair because these guys work hard to do what they do and dedicate their life. And for them, for that judge or judges to go home and sleep at night and feel like they did a great job and it was, I could see if the fight was close, but I know, and I, I know a lot of people that know that Romero lost that fight. But props to him. He's got a belt. Okay, it's a WA intern. But it's a belt. It's his first step. To going up the ladder. But he will get beat by a boxer every time. Romero will. If he doesn't tighten up his game with his team. And I'm sure they're going to go back to the drawing board. And they're going to really tweak a few things and fix a lot of things. And like I said, I don't take nothing away from a boxer that gets in that ring. And goes toe to toe and risks his life inside that ring. Because that's what they do. They do it for their families. And I respect that 100%. And I'll never say nothing bad in that aspect. So let me get your thoughts on who you think won the fight. Do you think the kid Jackson, Marinez, deserved to get robbed and like I said if somebody can get a hold of that kid Jackson and implement some other skills to his game that kid can be a champion and you heard it from me first so let me get your thoughts on what you thought about the fight how you thought Romero fought how you thought he counterpunched? And do you seriously think it was 118 to 110 on one of the judges' cards? Please leave your comments below. I'm going to be coming out with more videos. I appreciate all the support I can get. And have a good one.